Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Chasm. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. Last we left off, uh, kind of running around like a chicken with our goddamn heads cut off again because, well, we got a new thing, and the new thing allows us to do a new thing. And unfortunately, I have forgotten most of where these things I can do are. So, for the now, I'm kind of theorizing that maybe I've missed something in that uh, larger room. Maybe. Possibly. Hoping. And if not, then I might just try to brute force whatever the hell the bell puzzle is. That's always fun to watch, someone trying to brute force their way through a puzzle. Nah, wouldn't be something as cryptic as that, would it? Yeah, so... Is this the one? No. Okay, because we have all... Oh. Oh. Just want to see something here. Yeah, not really much of... You know what? I found it out. I found it. That's what matters. I found it. That's all that matters. Watch this area kick my ass, too. Hey, look, it's the archers we absolutely love. Come on. Die already, please. Thank you. That works faster. Holding it. All right. Cool. Progress. At last. Save points. Ah, hello, you. I'd say it's been a while, but it really hasn't. Hi, you too. But. I have a feeling I wanted to... Ooh, okay. Ow. I have a feeling I wanted to go through that uh, one door first. Well, we've come too far already. There, there's not much parrying and moving room on those things. Could you kindly chill? Yep. Okay, I had to check. Uh-huh. Okay, that was me. Deuces this way. Treasure? Loot? Gargoyles? Stupid goddamn archers. Good lord. Wasn't saying, wasn't thinking that, oh, hey, this place is going to be so small in comparison, but goddamn. 
kind of thought that there was going to be a little bit of something to this place. Something can be placed here. Something can be placed here. I love the vagueness in that. Something can be placed here. Son of a... Son of an Son of an Aramer. Oh, hello. Hi. Who? What? How? What? Ow. I killed some ghosts. Okay. Excuse me while I enjoy some salmon in front of you. Uh, okay. Yep. Okay. Hey, look, some plot. According to the ancient Tome of Light, a battle between light and darkness is inevitable. It was written that a great darkness would threaten to consume the light, and when that day comes, one will rise to confront it. This light bringer will be someone who is pure of heart and immune to the allure of the darkness. Could this be why the Watchers have placed this in my path? Could I be the one the prophecies speak of? Even if I am not the one to stop it, I cannot stand aside and let the darkness prevail. Now I'm just wondering who this Ankato individual is. Ow. I was kind of hoping that these would be like the ultimate chandelier to smash. Ah! One, two, one, two, two, three. One, two, one, two, two, three. I better write that down, honestly. Uh, I don't know what this box will do. What? Pen? Soul? One, two, one, two, two, three. Okay. Excellent. And now to quickly hit the mines up just to save because I don't want to die. Yes. Seriously, anyone else think that this mace is pretty damn great? Alright, so... Now I can go up to the bell tower to figure out what's on the other side of that door. But I'm going to explore a little bit more. We all like to explore. Already regretting this idea. Ow. Imps. Five bucks says I get an imp familiar from those. Frick! Why can I not do this anymore? It's as simple as avoiding the giant spiked ball of doom. There we go. I'm gonna be sad if there's nothing up here of value. Heck it. I mean again. Don't tick me. Got ourselves a winner. It seems Lady Luck was on your side this time. Perhaps we'll cross paths again. <laughs> cool. All right, so all the way down to the left. Ah! Mr. Imp. Imp off. You still following me? I don't want to kill another imp, but I don't know. Sir! The archer was really getting in my personal space. Ooh! 
I'm realizing that I have 555 monies. So I could buy a learning scroll. I could. Do I want to? Honestly, yes. Oh, the third flower bag. Okay, cool. I can return that to uh, Ethel, was her name, right? What is that? Our oh, axe guy. Money. I mean, I think at most this guy does like seven damage. Hey, Dar. The smart thing to do is to stand in the guy's path when he's actually, you know, attacking. I would have never have guessed that his name was Executioner. <gasps> Ooh! A dig spot. Oh, does this lead to the gardens? Alright, before I go through the dig spot, which is clearly... Oh, no, maybe I should go through the dig spot first. Dig spot first. Then we'll see. Yes, yeah, Dar, that was gonna work. Oh, hey, kid. Oh, wow, you're a real knight with a sword and everything? A mace, but sure. When the monsters came to town, I hid inside the tavern with my prince, with my dog, Princess. She tried to fight those mean monsters off, but they captured us anyway. I miss her so much, she's the bravest dog I know. I hope you can rescue her just like you rescued me. Well, I'll head home now and let everyone know I'm okay. Ah, yes. A popular staple when it comes to a little mining town in the middle of nowhere. A single child. Well, I suppose they would have miners in a mining village. I'm not sorry for that joke. Because it's all I got right now. <laughs> okay. Alright. Yep, fine. I'll go your more dangerous, legitimate root game. There we go. I was literally just about to say that was so easy. And then I got goop to the face. Soldier's armlet. Combat belt, it's like a thing. Soldier's armlet. Standard armlet worn by soldiers in the Gildian War. Shut up, phone. So it increases my damage and defense. But I think it's mostly because I'm wearing the medallion belt that it reduces my intellect. So yeah, otherwise it's just constitution and strength up, which increases my defense and attack. Yes, please. That might actually be it for what's down here, save for whatever's in the lion's mouth there. Yeah. I think that's about it. I guess I can go back to the save point and then... I guess teleport myself back up to the, um... Who's gonna do it? Bell Tower. That's the word I'm looking for. Sir. You know, this is gonna kinda sound weird coming from the guy who barely uses, like, shields in these kind of games. Hell, I don't think I even used them in, um... Castlevania. 
But I kind of would kill to have some sort of defense against projectiles. You know, some sort of defense that's not just... Uh, don't worry, I'll hit it out of the air. Because really, as cool as the, that defense is... It's not reliable. Well, it's only as reliable as your weapon is fast. And again, most of these weapons don't seem all that fast. So now that I've saved, let's go back to the keep. It would be the topmost. Not that one. Uh, sure. Topmost and then just blitz right across. Pretty easy peasy once you get till you get to the gargoyle. And that jerk. I had to make sure I was still just going right across. The only real reason I'm bothering with these guys is because they have yet to drop anything for me, so I need it. Yeah, that was a dangerous idea there, Dar. Dar. One, two, one, two, two, three. I wonder if there's treasure on the other side of this. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's a safe point. Which usually means boss. Usually. God damn it. Okay. So a combination of patience and sheer dumb luck. My favorite kind of traversal traps. Eh. Excuse you? Oh, I probably have to... Yeah, once I get off of the thing. I'd rather face you on the fatter platform. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. No, 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 no. I'm not exactly sure what I did wrong just then. Ah, oh, god damn it. I'm not doing anything else, computer. Stop having encoding errors. Okay. That leads to a thing. God damn it. Little imps respawned. I mean, I suppose like whenever I hit this switch, the imps aren't going to be a problem anymore. Uh, 
Uh, but if slash win, I need to come back this way for whatever the hell's in that other passageway. Oh, hey, you! I fought you in the arena. You're actually kind of fun. Until you actually hit me. Yay, level up. Ow. I'm just kind of wondering what the hell those gals' story is. Okay, so they made an enemy that you really kind of can't avoid. Like, you gotta jump over them after you've gone, after they've gone and attacked you. Bam. Please. Thank you. Hmm. That tapestry in the back is looking concerning. Yeah, that's taking too many. Oh. I like damage. Wait, does that? Oh. <laughs> a cursed axe. With blades that resemble the wings of a bat. And by cursed, it means it halves my goddamn health. I won't lie, I kind of want to still use it. Ah, really? Okay. To learning. Ah, son of a taint. Sure. Sure. I love how I get the super cool, awesome, hey, more experience points. Yes, please, thing. Just as I enter a place that that does not benefit me much. Hey, another executioner. though. This does feel like it should be one of those Oh, there's a boss fight coming up. Anytime moment now. And hey, lo and behold, there is a boss. There is quite a bit that I've missed. Oh. Hi. him a moment to pull the sword out of the... Oh, 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 oh. I won't lie, I kind of dig this guy. Whoop. Whoop. Mace him in the face him, mace him in the face him. 
Oh, don't like. Oh no, not don't don't summon archers, man. That's a sturdy pool. I mean, I know I got summon scrolls, but you don't see me doing that. That was apparently King Trell. Is it nearly... Oh. I'll pop into here just to open it up, but does that mean it's nearly time for a new item? Oh. I mean, I suppose I'll see what the jewel ring does, but... Silver and gold banded ring adorned with jewels. Also, I got this. Increases my intelligence some, but also increases my HP by like nine, so. I don't know. Ulock Pendant. Oh, okay. I think this Ulock Pendant I put into the, um... Either put into a thing? I'm just symbol... Of Ulak. Okay, I have my theory. I think I need to put that into the um, passageway that leads into what appears to be a temple in the jungle. Garden. Jungle garden. Garden jungle. Proceed. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and check out these other things I've missed. Real quick, like. You're going the right way for a smack in the head. Okay, down one more to the left. Yeah, see, I either need to float for a very long time from over here, which I can almost do. I can see that there's a treasure. Almost. Keyword, almost do. Or I just need to wait for the, um... Whatever movement item it is for that to happen. You know what I like about those guys? They're not jerks. I mean, they're jerks if I try to, you know, just blitz past them, but if I don't... Oh, hey! Thank you for your assistance. I'm Grant, JQ's grandson, as well as town's resident engineer. My main job is helping to make the mine safer and more efficient. I also like to come up with new and exciting inventions in my spare time. Speaking of which, I should get back to town and resume my work. Cool. Um, save for that thing that I couldn't get. I think that's pretty much it in the keep. You know what? Heck it. Warp it. Besides, I gotta get, um... Gotta get her her flower. Oh, how wonderful. You found the flower. I will finally be able to restock the bakery. As a special thank you, please take one of my famous scones. They talk about them all the way to la... 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 Place. So now she's st stacked with freaking oh oh that's cheaper than a potion and heals almost as much 
Actually, this reminds me, we got donuts. Alright. Let's see if we can't find this grant. Any platinum? Nope. Oh, hey. Greetings and salutations. Please allow me to introduce my most recent invention. It's a gas balloon that will allow me to fly high above the clouds. But as you can see, I haven't quite gotten it off the ground yet. In order to fill the balloon, it's designed, I designed this rudimentary electrolysis device. It runs an electric current through water and separates out the hydrogen gas. Unfortunately, the electrodes are made of impure metal that rusted out before I could get the balloon filled. If you could bring me back three ingots of platinum, I could recreate new electrodes that won't rust. Please let me know if you find the platinum. See, that just has to be conflicted. Because I got one. If I get more, I kind of would rather, you know, use it for armor. You found a little whippersnapper, Rupert, did you? Well, good. I'm glad to hear that. He's something else, but he keeps me keeps me feeling young. Good work finding Jinx. He's a mysterious fellow, but his reputation is well known throughout the kingdom. Great work. I'm glad to have Cade back. He knows these mountains like the back of his hand. I appreciate you finding my grandson Grant for me. He's a smart young fellow, but he needs to keep his head out of the clouds from time to time. Better not tell him about the air balloon. Um, that just leaves Princess. The dog. And I still have to find the other bits of that guy. Unless I did already. No, it doesn't seem like it. Real quick, how much should I sell? Oh, not much. Damn it. But yeah, it is as I thought. I could make the, um... Who's a Medusa's? Yes, the Who's a Medusa's. It's the exact, tack, exact freaking word I meant to use. I could use the blacksmith here to craft... Um... Stuff. Yes. And it would sell better than it would if it was just, you know, the one thing. Which ain't terrible, I suppose. Actually, wait. First off, I, I'm gonna need to test this. I want to buy learning scrolls. A single silver is 20 if I were to sell it. But if I were to construct silver helm, silver sword. I suppose I could sell some of the other stuff I have. Oops. Uh, silver sword is 400. And the silver helm is 300. So it would be of greater value to make the sword over the helm. The sword over the helm. Which I think makes sense. I'm going to sell some of this other stuff that I found. <laughs> Just so much random shit, man. Uh, go ahead and sell the Pernich. 62, yeah. Sell that. Gonna keep the Gilded Hammer. Don't need the clubs. Don't need the knives. Don't need the Night Sword. Do I need the Iron Helm? Nah. I don't need a second mace. Especially not that one. If I'm gonna whip anything, I'm gonna whip him with something else. I guess I can get rid of those. Ah, uh, sell the silver. I guess I can sell the dark armor. I'm, I'm not gonna use it. Do you have anything new? Brass helm, push dagger, saber. Nope, nothing new. Uh, can't upgrade my magic axe. 
crying shame. Nope. Oh, you have a limited supply of those. That's nice to know. It causes me to... Causes my, causes my eye to twitch. I, I guess I'll buy some of this magic shit. Kind of surprised there isn't a, oh, you bought all this shit thing. Let's see. Um, two topazes. I did not mean to use that second one, but all right. And, oh, all I got is the emeralds and the topazes. So let's see. I got this. That's the ninja Gaiden shuriken. That's the knife. <laughs> yep. Okay, I won't lie. I dig the boomerang. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and save now that I've pushed this episode along longer than I planned and call it an episode. When we return, um... I got a pendant, which I think I know where it goes. I think. So thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this journey with me as much as I am. As always. Oh, excuse me. Long yawn. I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Cheers.